Hey there guys, Vastobo here. Today what I got for you is another video about modern mask systems. Today I'm specifically going to be talking about PAPR systems and why most of you watching the video probably won't need one. I frequently see PAPR systems being hyped up in collecting and prepper spheres because, well, they do provide a very nice quality of life improvement, but they do come with a lot of issues, and the first one I would like to talk about is batteries. So, to run a C420 in particular, which is what I've got here, you would need either the proprietary military battery, the rechargeable variant, which if you have that, you need one of the green battery caps, or one of these, I believe they're called BK002, uh, battery adapters that take eight AA batteries. The thing is, none of those options will actually have this PAPR system running for more than a couple of hours before the charge gets low enough to where it's not really making a difference. And that's why you never see grunts in the military using these. Papper systems are mainly meant for rapid missions, which is why you mainly see them with special forces, counterterrorism, uh, or cops or decontamination units. They're kind of just unfit for long, drawn-out missions. And for the needs of preppers, well, pretty much in any SHTF scenario, you're going to be out and about for more than just a couple of hours, so you would need to pack a shitload of batteries. On top of the issues with battery life, you're also going to be adding a bunch of weight, bulk, and snag points to your kit. The weight is only a few pounds uh, for the unit itself, you know, but it increases when you add the filters, but still every ounce that you carry is going to be an ounce that you wished you didn't carry when you're 80. But the bulk is a pretty major issue. So not only do you add this unit that hangs, well, several inches off your back and adding the filters even more than that, you're also adding this hose that goes over your shoulder and then loops around and comes back to your mask, which not only is that a massive snag point, it interferes with a lot of stuff. I've noticed that I can't really use a rifle sling while wearing a PAPR correctly. Also, if you wear your PAPR unit on the back panel of your plate carrier, like you're usually supposed to, it does interfere with wearing a backpack. Uh, you can, of course, mount it to your backpack, but that's another thing hanging off of it, and, well, it's just more bulk. I want you to look at this, right? It's what happens when you integrate an M45 chemical biological mask with every single system that you can integrate into it. So it's got the C420 PAPR, comms, and a hydration bladder. And it is a fucking mess. Hanging off of your head, you've got the wire for your headset, the wire for your microphone, the hose for your hydration system, and the hose for your papper. So that is a lot of different cables and hoses that you need to make behave, and it is already a ton of snag points. The way I've been lessening this issue lately is just by ditching the C420 entirely and just running this thing with a single filter hanging on the left side. Just by getting rid of the PAPR and just running it with a filter and the camelback and comms, that makes cable management a whole lot easier. Mind you, that does bring some of the bulk and weight to the face piece itself by just having the filter there, but I would say that it's a worthy sacrifice since you don't have this giant hose hanging off in front of you and the unit behind you. It's a, it's a lot nicer. And the last issue I would like to touch on is cost. I was lucky enough to get mine when a full kit would run you about a hundred bucks. But now in the post-COVID world, just a single speed uh, C420 with uh, without a remote switch will run you a couple hundred bucks, and that's without, like, a hose or any of the other uh, peripherals. So you would be dropping a lot of money on a PAPR, and honestly, for the types of purposes that I see preppers wanting them for, it's not worth it. But I am not saying that pappers are necessarily bad. I think they are excellent when used in the proper mission type, which, like I said earlier, would be rapid missions, like the stuff that you see special forces or counterterrorism or uh, cops doing. I'm just saying that preppers for, you know, pretty much any type of apocalypse or, uh, I think, uh, 
American Civil War Part 2 is still on Vogue at the minute. So stuff for like that, a papper is not going to serve you as well as just running your mask APR. And with that, I will end the video. Let me know in the comments what you think about PAPR systems, and thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one, whenever that is.